Here's why, to me, it is a an issue. Because CNN has realized that they have lost. And they've lost to Joe Rogan, of all people. He has become their target for allegedly spreading misinformation wherever he goes because his ratings are better. The man has 11 million people listening to each one of his podcasts. And meanwhile, the network that spread the fake Trump-Russia collusion narrative for four years is concerned about him spreading misinformation. This is the same CNN name redacted that characterized riots in Kenosha as fiery but mostly peaceful protests. Meanwhile, they're telling us that the truckers up in Canada are all illegal terrorists, okay? You know, this is the same CNN that had Don Lemon float around the theoretical existence of a black hole in the South Pacific. Okay, <laughs> this is the same CNN that had uh, one of their uh, hosts eat human brains on TV. Okay, we've come a long way, CNN. The problem is that Rogan is more trusted than CNN and all leftist corporate media put together because he has no departments, no desks, and no operations like Brian Stelter likes to tout. Okay, the whole last week was the last nail in the coffin for CNN being hammered in by Joe Rogan, especially with Jeff Zucker uh, resigning over the whole, uh, he wants to say it's over gating this head of marketing that everybody's known about for a whole time. Meanwhile, it's an extortion attempt by Chris Cuomo uh, for his part in allowing Andrew Cuomo to come on CNN. You want to talk about a freaking blast radius? That's a blast radius and a half going from Andrew Cuomo and Chris, Chris Cuomo blowing up CNN. This is the final moments. This is this is the death throes of CNN, pal. And I'm loving every minute of it. And this is so, the same. This is the same network that said that COVID deaths on the side of the screen was gangbusters for ratings. And you want to tell me that Joe Rogan talking to Dr. Robert Malone and Peter McCullough and countless other people who are not in the mainstream of thought, quote unquote, is a bad thing. Meanwhile, you got Chris Cuomo getting caught violating the clearest ethical red lines in journalism. And now he's extorting the network. You have producers at CNN being fired because they're trying to induce minors to engage in sexual activity and child sex trafficking. Come on! This is why it's important to me that CNN is going after Joe Rogan. Because look at CNN! They're in their death spiral. They're done. They're finished. Their ratings are down 90% year over year, okay? This is the network where their legal analyst became a euphemism for getting off on Zoom, okay? Godspeed to everyone at CNN. You will not be missed in my life. You're done. You're are, absolutely done. Are you offended by that as a lawyer or someone who uses Zoom a lot? I'm not sure. The answer to that question is yes, okay? <laughs> All views and opinions expressed here are not necessarily of the mainstream media and may offend some listeners. It's called political buffoonery.